Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Windham and I am here to do a total body workout for you today. I am pregnant, I'm in my first trimester, I'm going on 12 weeks pregnant, and um, so I will be monitoring my heart rate. I have to keep it below 140 according to the um, doctor's recommendations for the um, prenatal, prenatal workouts. So if you see me keep watching it, that's why I have to sometimes kind of break, let it come down a little bit. But as always, I will do it to all levels and you choose your own level. You can add in dumbbell weights, <clears throat> um, higher resistance bands. You can add in ankle weights, add more time, more reps. But today for our workout, I'm going to go through and do all of our exercise for 30 seconds. So I need you to get a few things ready before we go ahead and get started. And that is a comfortable set of dumbbells you want to work with for your exercises. I need you to go ahead and grab a resistance little Theraball. If you um, have one of those, we are going to be using those for a couple things. A resistance band and some water. If you want to grab a sip of water in between sets to stay hydrated. And if you're doing these at the gym on your own and just jotting down my exercises and not doing it along with the actual video, a timer to obviously time, like I mentioned, for 30 seconds per exercise, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the resistance band. I need you to go find something that's nice and firm in your house because you're gonna need to connect it to that and make sure it not, doesn't move. You have a column in your house, a little um, slat on your um, stairwell maybe, um, a heavy piece of equipment, um, and make sure that is around there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work that abs and lower back. And we're going to go wrap your arms around your shins, okay? And then we're gonna kind of fold out and then back in. You're not gonna come past even with your body with the um, resistance band when you come back and then close tightly forward in front of you. So a lean and a tuck. Exhale forward, chest up, back flat. Again, you can put ankle weights on, add a little bit more to it, make it into a more advanced move, a tighter resistance band. You can move away from your whatever you have it hooked on to make it the resistance band tighter the further the way away you are. I'm tongue twisted today. Okay, that was your 30 seconds. Next thing I'm going to have you do is I want you to go ahead and grab a set of dumbbells like I mentioned that you want to work with for a chest press. We're going to do this on our ball, so grab that. Again, if you don't have one, you can do this on the mat or on a bench. We're just adding a little bit of core into it, into your basic chest press. So go ahead, roll out to where your upper back and neck and head are on the ball. And relax because like I said you're not trying to tense up your neck and we're going to open nice and wide to 90 degrees on each side and then I want you to stretch up high and into the center. Make sure your hips and your glutes are up. So again we add the abs, lower back, hips as bonus in our exercise. Exhale up, we're going 30 seconds. Big stretch to the center for five more seconds. All right, good job. Next one we're gonna do is going to be a tricep dip. So I'm gonna do mine off the bench today. Again, here is the a couple different levels of dips. You can do a, the most basic one is bent legs and bend and press. Then you have your straight leg ones and your legs are staying nice and stiff and you're bending and pressing. I'm gonna do mine with my feet on the ball to add a little bit more core and stabilizers into my dips. We're working the back side of your arm. I want you to dig down as deep as you can and then press up high as you can without, main thing is, is to stay in tight to the bench, okay? You don't wanna be out here 
you will really hurt your shoulder that way. So, place like your foot slash ankle on the ball. Kind of scooch yourself off and let's pump it for 30 seconds. Exhale and up, dig in deep. seconds. Next one we're going to do is going to be for your lower back and abs, your core. It's called a superman. Um, you're going to put your opposite leg. There's several forms of this. You can do it on the ground. It's more basic if your balance is really off, um, but we're going to do it standing today. And you're going to put your opposite arm forward as the leg that's back and up, keeping square to the ground. We're going to hold it there for 30 seconds. You don't want to lock the knee at the bottom, just a slight bend. You're going to kind of feel your foot wiggling and tensing to fight to keep yourself upright and not falling over. And that's what we're working all the core and your stabilizers and your ankles and your legs. All right, let's switch. more seconds. All right, good job. Now we're going to just do some basic squats in place. Again, you can grab your dumbbells, add more resistance. Um, I'm just going to do my body weight today. Again, my heart rate gets up high when I'm doing full body moves, so I'm going to leave them out for mine. And I want you to go for 30 seconds. Feet a little wider than hip width apart, and you're gonna dig down into your heels and drive up through your heels. Main thing is do not collapse forward, stick that butt out so that your knees stay back and exhale up. We're going into your heels and driving up through your heels. If you have your dumbbells, you can either put them on your shoulders or down at your sides. You want to get parallel to the ground with your quads, so dig nice and deep and up. All right, good job. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ball again. We're going to do a, a chest fly. So again, go ahead and grab your dumbbells and your ball. I'm going to do a little, little back view for you so you can see the um, exercise nice and clearly. And it's the same as that chest press in the form that you need to get your head and your neck and your upper back on there and keep your, your hips up and engaged and we're going to go 30 seconds and then we'll switch arms and begin. So the arm that's out you don't want to be lower than even with your body and then the other one's coming grounded right over your chest into the center. All right, 
right, let's switch. All right, good job. Let's go back to an ab one. What I want you to do is you're going to kind of place the ball in the side in your oblique region. Kind of either sit and then twist, but you're going to get that oblique on this side. As we bring our chest upwards towards the ceiling, um, we're going to crunch, okay? Exhale, up. Support your neck, but no pulling on it. All right, let's switch sides. And again. If you feel like you're sliding out, if you're on a surface that is kind of slippery, I always suggest going up against like the wall just so your feet aren't coming out from under you. One less thing to worry about. Some people have trouble just being on the ball, so. All right, good job. We're gonna do a, um, a single leg deadlift next. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. And what I want you to do is, you're going to place one leg, not locked, but slightly bent. You're gonna draw, bring your dumbbells, let them kind of draw towards the ground without curving your back, okay? Keep your back flat and your chest out. And as soon as you feel a pull up the bottom leg, you're gonna draw to your upright position, okay? So you don't want this collapsing forward as you go down. You also don't want it locked. Those are key things to remember. You wanna place the pressure in your heel of the bottom leg. And you don't wanna rotate your hip as you go up just to get your leg up to the ceiling, okay? It is going to be square, hips to the ground, and again, no curving to touch the ground, okay? Feel the stretch, draw up. Place it in your heel, draw up. Good, let's switch legs. All right, good job. We're gonna do one more thing before we end our um, total body workout for today. And that is going to be a little side bend and engage that in glute that we did just um, a little while ago on that ball. Kind of get your heart rate up. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds each side. Again, you can add ankle weight. You can go faster. You can um, add a dumbbell even. Whatever you need, make it yours.
Good, let's switch. And dig it. I don't know about you, but one side always feels so different than the other. It's like a whole nother body. All right, good job. That concludes our workout for today. Again, if you have any questions, email me at campsweat at gmail.com. As always, people always have questions about if working out is healthy for you during your pregnancy. If you were doing it before, then usually doctors want you to continue but obviously there's some limitations and restrictions, so please talk to your doctor first. If you're any sort of a high risk pregnancy, um, and then a lot of times they don't want you to work out, but if you have been a healthy pregnancy, no complications, then you should be able to continue to get your recommendations from your doctor of your do's and don'ts. Um, usually a heart rate monitor is good because you have to keep your heart rate down. There's usually limits on the weight to be lifted, um, if you know someone who is pregnant and loves to work out and wants to um, follow me through my pregnancy, I'll be pregnant until April, hopefully. Everything goes smooth. And um, I will be posting these workouts, tag them, share this video with them. And of course, like I said, have them or yourself if you have any questions at that camp sweat at gmail.com. I, um, if you, if you want to follow me, um, and you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button on my channel and you will be notified by email when I post new videos. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one.